Hello YouTube, this is Talden of Tal's Minecraft, uh, and today I'm starting my Season 2 Let's Play. I am currently using the Direwolf 20 pack uh, from the FTB launcher, and if you don't know what that is, uh, there will be a link in the description below uh, on how to get to the Feed the Beast launcher and the direwolf 20 pack is automatically in the launcher you won't have to download anything uh, new or anything like that to add to it it should have everything available in it and um, we are just getting started today hopefully if i can maintain a good schedule of recording here i would like to do a full let's play series and you'll notice i am uh, stating that this is season two uh, I'm getting I'm just gonna leave the other recordings that I've done just to kinda stand on their own as as different how to's and things like that I will be doing uh, some how to information while I'm working on this let's play uh, going through recipes and things like that um, and that hopefully will help you guys out who are new to any modded Minecraft. Uh, if you have seen any of, any of the other modded uh, Let's Plays that are available out there, this will be similar. Hopefully I'll be able to maintain a little bit of interest though um, and show you some cool things that I've, I've got in my mind to work on. Um, right now we're just going to do the usual and gather some wood and get started on a little home base here um, alright let's see let's go ahead and put this in recipe mode and I'm done with it alright get our workbench looks like a good place to start here start off with a wooden pickaxe and we'll just gather some stone here now the direwolf 20 pack does have uh, I believe it's around 50 two or fifty three mods and maybe even a little bit more than that it's got industrial craft and um, build craft of course raise mini map any eye uh, rail craft steve's carts uh, huge amount of mods huge amount of mods this should if you've if you've ever played with any kind of modded minecraft before this should never get boring to you because it's got it's got every major technical mod and a lot of the uh, uh, magical mods like Thomcraft and uh, things like that so we'll just get get us some tools going here start harvesting some stuff Let's see we've got some looks like coal over here and while I'm harvesting these materials I'm also going to be looking for a uh, place to stay I may just uh, may do my little hidey hole like I normally do and then then find a place to stay or expand the hidey hole uh, I don't do any standard building sizes. I, I usually do whatever fits and then expand it to what I need to. So, um, any of you who have who have watched the Dire Wolf 20 Let's Plays, you'll know that he does his nine standard nine by nines, and those are those are nice. They're neat, but I find that I like to uh, to play with what exists around me and trying to fit it into the terrain as best as I can. So we're going to get lots of coal here. Alright. I 
let's just go look around for an area here. Uh, this is this is going to be pretty straightforward. I'm I'm going to do. Uh, hopefully, you'll be able to see any mistakes that I make because I believe that uh, it helps me to see the mistakes other people make to know how to avoid those. Uh, and there's nothing embarrassing in making a mistake. Um, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be afraid to play around with the mods and and figure out new things because that's how you learn uh, if you do, if you're not willing to make mistakes then you're not trying anything new you're not learning anything so we'll get all this tree chopped down here I will say this, it is a much different experience to record for YouTube than it is to stream. Normally I do uh, a lot of streaming on Twitch TV. I haven't here recently because I've had some stuff going on in real life that uh, just precluded me from being able to stream. But uh, I will say it is, a, it is a completely different beast to make videos for YouTube than it is to stream because with stream I have pretty much constant feedback from my viewers and whereas making videos for YouTube it uh, you don't get that feedback until after the whole video is over so sometimes I do uh, get quiet and try to focus on what I'm doing um, hopefully though barring any editing accidents I can um, hopefully edit out all the boring parts <laughs> so uh, and if you do uh, watch streaming videos on twitch TV feel free to uh, follow me over there it's just twitch.tv slash Taliban uh, and if you go ahead and follow over there uh, it will let you know when I'm streaming by emailing you um, sort of like how YouTube lets you know when things have been added in your updates or however YouTube does it. So, I guess a shovel here. Good bit of clay. If you have not seen any of the uh, Feed the Beast stuff, which normally f to kind of uh, kind of explain to you what Feed the Beast is, Feed the Beast started off as a survival map put out by Slowpoke 101 and uh, Matabase and several other <coughs> people got together and made this survival map that was similar in feel to a skyblock map it felt it feels um, very very similar to a skyblock because you start off with with next to nothing in supplies and then um, you basically uh, have to using the mods make the materials that you're going to use to survive so it's kind of a cross between a skyblock and a vex uh, survival map um, very goal oriented but what happened is, is they got permission from all the mod authors to uh, roll the mods into a mod pack for uh, the feed the beast um, map and decided since they had the permission to make the mod pack why not go ahead and uh, create a mod pack uh, entirely for use in 
survival play and you know creative series and things like that so that is where the feed the beast mod pack came from feed the beast launcher and all the different mod packs that are available now uh, and they are still working on several mod packs um, you'll notice that there are several available when you download the launcher um, and they are they all have their own different flavor there's a magic pack and a universal electricity pack and uh, just different packs available like that the direwolf 20 pack is the pack that direwolf 20 uses for his let's play series and so far after playing with the different mod packs i feel like it is probably the more robust of the mod packs um, it has most of the mods that you've seen me use before as well as several new mods uh, that have either updated or newly released uh, it does have parts of equivalent exchange 3 in there it's got the new thomcraft in there uh, and it's all very very fun to play so what we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and get settled in this cave here this little hidey hole and then we will start some resource gathering so and I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video here and we will come back whenever I have uh, gotten everything and we're back okay as you can see I've got the space hollowed out a little bit and I've gone through the mountain on both sides and we have a front door and a back door and We'll go ahead and set ourselves up a little front porch here and get this cleared out. And then we can start on some resource gathering. Alright, I believe what I want to do is come through here and start heading downwards uh, a lot of this is going to be straight up mining um, anybody who's watched my streams will know that I prefer to do a good bit of um, mining in like rows I like to just strip an area as well as I can um, caves are pretty good I know there are a lot of people that like <coughs> excuse me doing the cave mining but um, I find that there's a lot of a lot of mobs usually spawn in those caves and while that can be fun for gathering experience and whatnot I do prefer to be able to just strip mine stuff uh, it seems to be a lot more effective that way if time consuming and we're going to go ahead and staircase down here and this is my usual method of gathering materials hopefully I'll find some iron here shortly um, I am going to need to get started on some food as you can see my food bar is steadily declining um, it's always a struggle starting up to start off and balance resource gathering with um, you know making or finding enough food to survive okay what we've we got we've got some aluminum ore there uh, aluminum is somewhat useful in making torches and things like that ah these are neat ores these are some of the thumbcraft shards that's an air shard and that will be useful for making uh, or enchanting and learning some of the thumbcraft 3 research and as you can see the ores are 
fairly well spread up. I'm at level 55 right now and already finding stuff, so. Alright, time to come back up here and get a couple more pickaxes. Seeds. The Hennekin seeds are good for producing string. Uh, we've got some flax seeds, which are also good for producing string. We're going to have to find us a patch of level ground. Oh, we got some iron right out here in the open. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Go ahead and gather up this coal as well. And while I'm gathering this, uh, go ahead and if you guys have any questions or comments about the Feed the Beast stuff, uh, about any of the mods, feel free to leave questions in the comment section. Um, if you like what you're seeing, if you don't like what you're seeing, Whatever the case may be, feel free to uh, leave comments and let me know what your opinion is, you know. Um, always glad to see the comments. I don't always have time to respond to all of them, but I do I do read them all. So Oh, well, we got some more iron here, which is beautiful. Getting a good bit of iron to start with. That's awesome. Alright, now let's get our shovel here. Gather up some dirt. ourselves a little farm started up here.
we'll have use for sand too a little bit later. Did we drop anything? We did. another shovel here and get our little farm started bit more dirt. <coughs> Hopefully we will be able to get some stuff going here relatively quickly. I don't have any bones yet for bone meal, but we got a fair amount of seeds to get started with. And why not? You can always use some flex, some string later on. And we can drop all this stuff off here. Myself. And did we get any bones? Did not. That's a shame. It would have been nice to have gotten some 
bones to get started with. And this comes out on the other side. This might make a nice little basement area. We got some coal and some copper here. Oh. careful I'm gonna end up dying that would be good especially since I don't have a bed yet I think it may be time to head back inside yeah it's getting dark let's head on back inside here And I'm starving. Oh no! This is not a good start to our day. Let's go ahead and turn the sound up a little bit. here so that we can get up and down easier. Get ourselves some more materials here. zombies come along would be nice to have some food that's for sure You know, I have a question for you guys. A lot of people will do their Let's Plays where they, you know, they do a lot of cuts where they're only, they don't ever show themselves gather materials and things like that. What do you guys prefer? Do you want to see all the material gathering or do you want, uh, do you want me to edit it so that you don't have to watch me mining and gathering materials and generally babbling on, what would you guys like to see? Let's 
So give me some feedback on that. Let me know what you think. And uh, however you guys prefer it, that's how we'll do it. Babylon, good sir. And we're getting down into some materials territory here. And hopefully, it'll be daytime outside soon. So we can go check on our farms. I hear lava, so we're going to have to be careful here in just a second. We are getting down into the area where we're going to start finding some lava. Good, we want some of that. Spooky noises. Sounds like we are. And there's some iron. Alright. <clears throat> we should be done cooking up that iron up at the house. And hopefully we've got some growth on our crops outside, maybe. Go 
can get ourselves an iron pickaxe. <coughs> and let's do another stone pickaxe. Looks like somebody's down here trying to harvest our crops. Fucking fun, Mr. Chicken. Food is hard to come by. Well, that's interesting. I have a teleporting chicken. We're going to check this to see how we're doing. Still a very little bit of growth, not a whole lot. So what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves something to help gather some seeds. Now the sickle is part of the red power mod. Uh, it helps in taking leaves off of trees and harvesting large amounts of grass and other things like that. amount of food from there. I got three pieces of chicken that I can take and cook up and that'll help me with my current food situation. respectable little farm going there. <clears throat> and we can take our chicken. 
bacon and cook him up. We'll have us some fried chicken for dinner. enough to start regenerating. Let's go get us another chicken. Malicious killer of chickens. I am the chicken slayer. Alright. Ooh, we found us some pumpkins. You will notice all these large trees um, and the different types of trees if you've never played with any of the stuff from the Feed the Beast or anything that ever used the Extra Biomes XL mod. Uh, it is uh, a mod that adds a lot of different biomes and uh, as well as trees and things like that that are really, really gorgeous. So. A lot of people have have a time with those two by two trees, but I've developed a way to to deal with the trees that will help alleviate some of the stress of having those very large trees to deal with. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put all of this stuff back in here, and we're gonna go ahead and head down here and see if we can finish finding some materials here we can use all the iron we can find notice I am not using my iron pickaxe for standard mining. I'm still using my stone pickaxe. I prefer to um, prefer to use my iron pickaxe for uh, items that can't be mined by a stone pickaxe at least until I get a good gathering of materials together. Uh, and these ores and those white ones that you saw me harvest a while ago are Zycorium, that's from the Zycraft mod. Um, they don't currently in this pack have a huge amount of uses, but the uh, mod developer is constantly adding uh, stuff to the to the Zy uh, Zycraft mod. Um, so as the mod updates, we'll see more machines and things like that added that 
uh, add functionality into the game. So, looks like we are about to break into a ravine here. over here somewhere. Ah, there he is. Ah, he's a red-eyed zombie. Maybe he'll drop a zombie brain. Nope, but he did drop a shard of minium, which is very cool. torches here. And those are V shards, which are extremely useful as we get into um, the Thomcraft. I believe that is yes, Cinnabar ore. We are having a good time gathering materials here. Um, I think what I'm going to do <clears throat> is go ahead now that we've kind of got established. I still need to gather some wool or some string to make wool and um, make a bed. But I believe I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here and between this time and next time I'll go ahead and gather some more materials and that will allow us to uh, perhaps um, get started on some of the mods that are available um, we ha got a pretty nice haul today so if you guys will just go ahead and give me some feedback on how y'all want to see this proceed if you want uh, if you want to see me gathering a lot of materials or if you want to if you want me to cut and only do the mod stuff just give me some feedback and let me know what you'd like to see so anyways I appreciate you guys watching and I hope you have a blessed day and if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them in the comment section don't forget to like and subscribe.